car is good to go. Spend enough time around Phoenix, Arizona, and you'll spot cars and vans cruising without anyone behind the wheel. Arriving shortly. But semi-trucks? They're the new frontier in driverless vehicles being tested right now. How soon could it be before somebody looks up and doesn't see anybody in the driver's seat on one of these Good semis? Question. So we want to be fully self-driving within the next couple of years. Boris Softman is Waymo Via's head of engineering for trucking. So now for a little test drive. We'll do a test drive. And even today, while humans like Bob Kreps are still technically behind the wheel. Here we go. That acceleration that we're hearing, that's yeah. not Bob. That's, that's the truck. That's the truck. Yep. Right now, Google's self-driving company Waymo Via and several others are using safety drivers like Bob to supervise what are basically big rig robots. And if you look closely, you can see he's not always touching the wheel. Instead, the semi can navigate by itself using a guidance system of 28 cameras and a whole slew of radar sensors that map the immediate area and can peer over a half a mile down the road. How many objects can this detect at one time? When we've encountered dense intersections in, a, uh, in an urban environment, for example, our cars will detect hundreds of objects all the time, pedestrians, cyclists, cars. Waymo says right now their biggest hurdle is planning for unpredictable human drivers. For Bob, it's about preventing the kinds of crashes he's seen after 40 years of trucking. Oh, yeah, I've come up on some really bad accidents. and Most of those accidents are fatigue-related, you know, distracted. Uh, impaired. This truck is not going to be distracted. It's not going to experience road rage. The technology comes as the country faces a growing shortage of more than 80,000 truck drivers, partially fueled by younger generations opting for other jobs closer to home and wiser, tech wary generations like Bob's eyeing retirement. So, wait, so you have a flip phone and yet you're driving one of the most technologically advanced vehicles on the road? Yeah. <laughs> I try to weird? keep things pretty simple, you know. <laughs> For him, there is still nothing like the open road. I have the best office window ever. But says when he retires, someone's got to keep on trucking, even if that someone is a computer. I strive to be a good driver, but I make mistakes. This truck's not going to make mistakes. Gotti Schwartz, NBC News, Chandler, Arizona. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.